Geek Tyrant is here in Las Vegas and we are covering CinemaCon 2022. I am Joey, this is Billy. The Warner Brothers panel was great. And another movie we're gonna talk about that we saw some footage of there is Olivia Wilde's next movie that she directed titled Don't Worry Darling. Don't Worry Darling. Now this that, movie looks weird, weird and cool and great. When Olivia Wilde came out, she described it as a mix of The Matrix, Inception, and The Truman Show. Which is a good combo to me. It's a, I like yeah, it's a great combo. All three of them. But um, this was unexpected because it wasn't really something that was on our radar no. when he first came in. Um, but I was pleased when it was over. Uh, the movie stars uh, Florence Pugh. Yep who Olivia Wilde says is an absolute superstar, which she is. Everything she yeah, in, she's in is great. Yeah, but she says that this role in this movie is the best thing that she has ever done. If you didn't think she was a movie star before, this movie is going to solidify her movie stardom. Right. Um, it's also starring Harry Styles. It stars uh, Chris Pine. Olivia Wilde herself is in it. Yep. It's The cast is fantastic, and it, the look of this movie is... It's all new. Yeah. I mean, it just looks amazing. So the movie is set in the 1950s, mm -hmm. and it kind of centers on a housewife that lives in this community. Uh, it's like an kind of experimental, a utopian, yeah, experimental society. And it, it it has that feel like if you guys have seen Edward Scissorhands, how all the houses are like the same size but different colors, and all the husbands leave for work all at the same time. That's an exact shot of in this movie. Yeah. It's so just to give you an idea of what we're thinking about. It was it was pretty cool. Um, but then it, everything kind of takes a sinister turn. Yeah. It's like the living this glamorous life and everyone seems happy, but then all of a sudden uh, Florence Pugh's character kind of takes a dark starts questioning things. It's not really a dark turn, but it does turn into a dark turn, but that starts with her questioning Chris Pine's character. So Chris Pine like runs this community. He's kind of like the cult leader, I guess. It fe fe feels like he's a cult leader of some sorts. And all the men go do this thing and there's weird things that happen. Like they'll be sitting in a, in, together in a house and then all of a sudden it starts shaking and you've got one of the women saying, the boys love playing with their toys, something like that. Right. And we're just like, well, what does that mean? We don't know what it means. They're, nope. they're really keeping the mystery alive in the footage that we saw. They weren't really giving any answers, but it, whatever was happening was driving Florence Pugh's character completely mad. And there's shots of her like driving through the desert in the, you know, her 1950s cars. Yep. And there's weird reflections going on and weird, like, things happening in the sky. I, how do you explain it? There's right. like just weird mirror-type glimpses and yeah. flashes. Like, when she says Truman Show, you're wondering if they're just in this bubble being watched, right? Right. And she's trying to get to some place. There's a place out in the desert that apparently all the men go when they're not at home, she's trying to get there to figure out what's going on. Yep. It's it's trippy, and it's something I'm excited to see. I Yeah, I, it's hard to say what exactly is happening in this, but the footage we saw was looked great. It was shot beautifully. Uh, the cast is awesome. And you get to see in the footage, you, there's, there are moments where Florence Pugh, her, her acting abilities really shine through, and you're just like, wow. Because... The way the trailer plays out is it starts soft, she's happy, uh, she's living this wonderful life, and then as things keep going and escalate, you just see that whole mood and personality change into someone that is, feels like, she, you know, people think she's being told she's losing her mind. Right, but she's the only one questioning Chris Pine and his, t and his tactics, what's he, what he's doing. And everybody else is questioning her. Why are you questioning him? Exactly. And so... So something sinister is afoot. We absolutely. just don't know what it is. We're going to have to wait to see the movie to find out. Comes out this September. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, and looks good. So check it out when oh, the trailer drops. Also, oh. Olivia Wilde, she was talking about this. She says this is her 
passion project. If there was one movie that she could make in her career, this is it. Like she was like very adamant of saying, as a filmmaker, this is the movie that I always wanted to make. And they're allowing her to make it, so yeah. we're gonna get it. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. And when the trailer comes out, we'll make sure to post it on Geek Tyrant. Yep, all right guys, thank you. Yeah, see ya. We got more, we got more. Hold on, hold on, wait, don't go. Okay, go.